Uh, in that case, I'm going to present you Free IPA, which stands for Identity Policy and Audit. But uh, just for historical reason, they decided to uh, drop the audit part because it's much more difficult than they thought, and uh, other projects take care of that. Though. So this project uh, is regarding identity and policy management, and uh, you're going to be my uh, my, my uh, assistant. Yeah, you can use the uh, right and left. All right. So um, I've been researching and looking for a single sign-on solution for my. Uh, my home network where I have many Linux virtual machines. So uh, when you want single sign-on, basically you have two solutions. You can go on one side to the propri proprietary software and install Active Directory. You can configure Linux to uh, authenticate against AD, but you don't want to. And uh, the other one is a basic LDAP uh, straight LDAP uh, directory authentication service. Uh, you can install OpenLDAP and go in and learn much more stuff about LDAP than you really want to care about. And it's arcane vocabulary, and it's uh, it really works well. It's a good solution, right? But um, it's boring stuff. So uh, I would have loved to have something a bit more. Um, Frameworky. So Maxim told me about Free IPA, and I and really it was the first time that I have heard about it. Uh, and I've asked uh, several per people what uh, solutions exist for the Linux and Unix world. So I'm glad to tell you I've tried Free IPA, and it's really surprisingly uh, complete and functional. Now on the next slide. Um, so as I say, yeah, it's uh, uh, full-featured, production-ready. It integrates, not, does not replace, but it integrates with an Active Directory, or it can be used standalone, uh, and you can use it uh, uh, with one server or with multiple free IPA servers with replication. It brings Linux-specific features to, for the Unix world and the Unix sysadmins. Uh, it's very well documented on the freeipa.org website and also on the Fedora server um, documentation. And it's provided by Red Hat. Uh, this is the upstream free and open source project uh, for the Red Hat identity management solution. So they bring this to their client and it's being used in production today. On the next slide. Uh, I've went to the uh, Free IPA users mailing list and asked who uses Free IPA. I've got an answer from one of the Free IPA uh, developers saying that they use it on um, thousands of deployments ranging from one to more than 20 Free IPA servers, well, identity management servers, uh, and they connect tens, uh, a few dozen, up to tens of thousands of clients attached to those servers per deployment. So it's really uh, scalable and it's something that is relied on in, in production environments. Uh, on the next slide, here you see the, uh, genome, the GNOME project moved their whole infrastructure to free IPA. Now it's not a comparison against Active Directory. They were using some uh, LDAP stuff and uh, um, they moved uh, to free IPA and they look like a happy bunch. So, and furthermore, I have an answer from the, uh, the next slide, uh, an answer from a system administrator who says, uh, at least one of his clients is a really huge, uh, the largest Latin American credit and debit card operator that uses this for their almost entire Linux and Unix um, infrastructure. So, uh, this being said, now I'd like to talk to you a bit more about uh, what are the components, how it works, and etc. So I've got uh, this next slide is the components of FreeIPA. Basically, FreeIPA is <coughs> a um, Python glue to put together and make work together uh, uh, some things that already exist in the free and open source world, uh, such as SSSD, which is another Red Hat project, which allows um, not only to uh, authenticate against uh, different backends, but also caches credentials. So this brings offline uh, authentication as well. Uh, if 
uh, for example, my laptop. Uh, I'm, I'm outside of my domain, but I was able to uh, log in anyways. Uh, 389 directory is Red Hat's uh, Open LDAP, uh, no, it's Red Hat's LDAP implementation. And DogTag is a Certificate Authority Management System. MIT is Kerberos, of course, Bind, some Python for the uh, gluing it all together and uh, command line interface, and Apache for the web GUI. Next, uh, this is what it takes to install FreeIPA on a uh, Fedora, CentOS, uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux, and uh, even Ubuntu. I'm not sure about the version numbers, but it works on the latest, and uh, as well as how to uh, enroll a client machine to the domain. It's really a one-liner for real. And um, you, of course, there are some command line switches. Uh, for myself, for example, I didn't want FreeIPA to take charge of the DNS. I already had my name server, so uh, I just t told FreeIPA no DNS, and these are my name servers, and basically that's it. It's going to be a bit more involvement if you want to uh, do a cross Kerberos trust with an Active Directory, but not not so bad. It's um, they they really um, they, they they really make it. Uh, it's one of their priority to make it easy to to install. Now on the next slide, here is the manual uh, procedure. It is all very well documented, and since most of my VMs at home and my main PC are Arch Linux, I couldn't use the uh, IPA client install, so um, I have a Fedora server VM for the domain controller, and uh, I have an Ansible playbook where I coded all of this, so um, it's, it's still very easy to, uh, to enroll new VMs now, but um, basically, uh, on the IPA server, you do a host add to create a, um, um, an entry in your directory, and then IPA get key tab and install the key tab on the host that you want to provision. Then you configure SSSD to provide IPA authentication, and uh, the name services cache daemon, uh, not to cache password and group data so that uh, when you update this data on the controller it's immediately available on the host or you can uh, disable it altogether and you configure the uh, name services switch to query SSS um, for password and group data and a few other things uh, configure PAM to use the SSS uh, module configure Kerberos because SSSD is going to use it and finally this is a really uh, it's optional but it's really cool you configure SSH to use a proxy command provided by the SSSD package that um, queries the domain controller for your hosts SSH keys and you configure SSHD to Query the controller for your users SSH keys as well, so you've got centralized key management. Uh, next, please. This is a screenshot of Anaconda, the uh, graphical insta installer for Fedora Server. So um, I'm going to show you the uh, graphical process of installing FreeIPA. Uh, so on the server, I check for the FreeIPA server. Um, uh, package group, and then once it's installed, you simply run the free uh, the IPA server install command. Now on the next slide, this is for the Fedora workstation. There's a package group for domain membership, and the rest of the slide uh, concern the Fedora workstation. And uh, here on the next slide, you see the uh, during the install, I don't. Do, uh, I, I set up a root password, but I don't set up a system user. Uh, next. This is post install. <coughs> next. Uh, you click here for set up enterprise login. And you skip that part for the system user. And uh, then you click the drop down. I've got um, DNS SRV records set up for auto discovery. So, uh, next slide, please. Yeah, you see it discovered my domain, and then next I put my 
um, my free IPA credentials. And when I click next here, now it asks, asks me for the domain admin password, and then uh, it's done. Uh, I can log in using any credentials in my uh, centralized directory. Okay, next. And next again. All right, so this is the free IPA public demo. This is what it looks like when you, uh, you um, go to your web interface for the domain controller. Uh, there's a public demo available, it's uh, sandboxed and reinstalled every night. And you, it's functional, so you can create users, you can uh, enroll systems, you can enroll uh, client machines or enroll web, web uh, uh, services or whatever you'd like to try out. It's simple enough to just spawn a VM and install Fedora server, but you've got this if you want to have a look right away, um, just to check out the interface. And uh, next slide. This is the page for uh, the list of active users. So it's a really nice, modern-looking and modern-feeling interface. It's uh, constantly being developed. It's uh, in active development, I mean, so uh, the, the look and feel is, uh, is modern. And uh, you've got... Uh, all the menus here, I won't show them uh, all to you, but uh, it was just to show you the, the style. And the next slide is the details page for one user, so it's just as detailed as Active Directory. Uh, it's almost the same schema, but on the next slide you'll see there's extra stuff for, for your uh, public keys. So this is my user at home, I've got uh, key entries here, so uh, from the moment I put my key there, uh, then I, I can uh, log in to any machine that is enrolled to, uh, to the system. Okay, next again. So these are other Linux and Unix-centric features of FreePA, centralized managed pseudo policies, uh, which can also be applied to groups or specific machines. Uh, Automount, SA Linux policy management, and optionally uh, it can take charge of the, uh, the DNS and it even provides command line or uh, graphical interface for the DNS management. Okay, and next a couple of URLs for further reading. The Free IPA, uh, Free IPA project page, uh, the Fedora project docs, so if you go to the uh, Fedora server documentation, there's a section for Free IPA. And the demo, uh, there's a link in the Free IPA project page for the demo as well. And uh, that's the end of the slides. Do you have any questions? Wow, eh? It's free, right? It's free, okay. yeah. Uh, because you said, there was a, you said that there was a demo version. So I was yeah. wondering, because sometimes companies say that the product is free and blah, blah, blah. They give you a demo version, a trial version. You try it for like weeks and after that you have to buy the real version but the name is free so I was just wondering yeah it's uh, free as in beer free as in free speech and uh, the, the demo is just because, because I also it, instead of installing it fully on your server you you run it online I guess or something like that or is it uh, no no it's not uh, th there's uh, there's no option for uh, having it hosted uh, you self host it of course no no but the demo the yeah demo the demo is, is hosted on their server yeah okay, okay. okay. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's really just to try it out, but uh, uh, you can just install it and try it on your yeah, system. Yeah. And, uh, it's not free if, if, for instance, you go to Red Hat and ask them for the, uh, enterprise, for the identity management uh, tools, because okay. they'll support it, and that's another thing. Oh, okay. okay. But uh, I've had no issues with it. I haven't not uh, tried it against uh, um, Windows uh, operating systems. And um, there are some things missing, uh, there's no uh, group policies uh, and probably other things. But the point is not replacing Active Directory, the point is complementing it. Okay. Or if you have Linux only, uh, if you have only Linux or Unix machines in your infrastructure, then you, can, uh, you don't even need Active Directory. So in our case, we can just plug this into our own Active Directory and use the already created users for us, for the load balancer thing. Yep, that's correct. You can have Active Directory manage all the users, and this part takes care of just, just the, the Unix part. And it does this by uh, cross-Kerberos 
trust using assembler for? Okay, so we can install the four clients that are asking for uh, like to join like the Linux machine to the Active Directory Windows machine, right? Correct. Yeah. Okay, cool. We can, yeah. we can spin it up for our clients. We can spin it up for ourselves. We can spin it up for a test yeah. for a test environment. For Only issue we're gonna have is uh, do we support it afterwards? Spoil it. Support it. Support it. Support it. Yeah. Uh, it would have to be incubated, it would have to... Yeah, that's a good thing to the client, it's fairly easy to install, and just install it. If you have uh, any questions, I'd be glad to answer, try it out. What's your, <laughs> what's your website, what's your email, with uh, your oh, contact uh, information? Alexander.devertory.net I don't, yeah, no, I have no slide. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, Alexander.devertory.net and uh, all of my web well presence those. things. Uh, <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> if you like this, like and subscribe. <laughs> well, I'm.